This episode of Computer Club Lesson is brought to you by the Binary Guys, Computer Repair and Network Service. In this edition of Computer Club Lesson, we're going to have a, a quick look at Task Manager. Task Manager is a program that you can use to get control of your computer if you have a, an unresponsive program or something is happening, you can't get control, you can't do anything, the computer's locked up. Often as not, Task Manager can get you out of that situation, and here is how to use it. The first thing you want to do is right click on the taskbar on the bottom of your computer, and that will open a panel in which you will see the Task Manager is located. You click on Start Task Manager, and it will open a panel showing you all of the, the applications that are currently running on your computer. If a, com if a program is unresponsive, uh, the task manager will show you that over here, instead of saying running, it will say not responding. I can open uh, the uh, VLC media player and you will now see that the VLC media player is listed in the running applications. Let us just say for a moment that VLC media player was not responding. It was locked up. You couldn't do anything with it. What you can and VLC media player was unable to be closed by the red X at the top here of the, of the panel. What you can do is open task manager, click on the unresponsive program, in this case VLC media player, and you can click on end task. That will end the VLC media player session. It will force it to close without uh, you having to go to the red X on the top right of the uh, program panel and try and close it from there. Often it's not a non-responsive program. will not close that way. It'll just sit there and sit there and sit there. There are a few other things about Task Manager that we can uh, investigate. And uh, Task Manager can give you a lot of information about what's happening with your computer. Next to the Applications panel is the Processes panel. These, uh, the processes are all of the programs that the computer is running in the background to help you run your computer. Um, or, or I should say, so that your computer can run its programs. You'll see a list of about, on my computer, of about 25 or 30 uh, processes that are running in the background. Uh, this is normal, but uh, if you find an unresponsive program, you can also close it from here, from the running processes. If you can divine what the program's name is, you can close it from here. Let's take this, for instance, Cloud Services iCloud services. I can close iCloud services from this panel, but the best way to do it is to right click on what you want to close and instead of end process, you're going to end process tree. When you end the process tree, you are ending all programs that are associated with the program you're trying to close. And that's a good thing because it might be one of these other programs that is not allowing the, uh, the the non-responsive program to work properly. So if we end process tree, you'll be asked to, are you sure you want to end this program? Um, and uh, you can click on end process tree and you'll see the cloud services stopped. It's not in the processes anymore. I can start cloud services again by just clicking on the icon, but uh, this is a good way also to get hold of a, to stop a, a an unresponsive program or a program that you don't want running in the background. If you uh, investigate the processes on your computer, you might find a piece of malware running in there. And before you can remove the malware, you have to stop its processes. And this is the place to do it under the processes panel. The next panel over is the services panel. And these are all of the programs that your computer needs to run properly. They are started as a service. Uh, service simply means that these programs start up when the computer starts up. The next panel over is the performance panel. Now my computer is a four core computer, uh, meaning it has four CPUs in it, and they're listed here. 
and you can see how the CPUs are being used. Uh, one is being uh, one is being used more than the other in this instance. Also, it shows you how much memory is being used to run your computer at any given moment. In, uh, in my case, I have four megabytes of memory, and I'm using about half of it. The resources monitor in this little button down at the bottom here is also a good thing to check out because it will also show you what processes are running, how much CPU they're taking up, how much disk space is being used by them, and whether they are uh, running through your internet connection, your network. Uh, this is a good thing to know in case um, you have a program, a rogue program, trying to talk to the internet and you don't know about it. So we'll just close that panel for a moment and we'll continue on over to the networking panel. Now as I said uh, when we open the resources panel, the network panel shows you what is connecting to the internet. And if I open my web browser, Google Chrome here, you'll see that all of a sudden you're going to start getting action in this networking panel. It shows you that it connected to the internet, it sent packets out, packets were sent back, and so Google Chrome is now talking to the internet. This is a good thing to know in case you have a program in the background that's taken over your computer and is talking to the internet without your knowledge. This is a place to find out about it. So we'll close Google Chrome and continue over to the next panel, which is the Users panel. Now, there's only one user on my computer, which is called User, but if I had a second user, User2, or the name of a user, it would show up here. And if the user was not logged in, it would be inactive. Right now, I'm the, the only user, and so I am the active user. If I had my guest account running on this computer, it would also show the guest account and whether anybody was logged in or whether it was active or not. Let's go back to the Applications panel again. And in the Applications panel, we can start tasks as well as end tasks. So let us just say that uh, we had the Windows Task Manager up and running and we wanted to start a new task. For this purposes, we'll say we want to start Notepad. We'll just type in Notepad in the open box here, Notepad click on OK and Notepad opened. Very interesting. And so you can continue on. You can make notes in your Notepad, save them, whatever you want to do with them. And when you're done, here again, you can highlight the program, in this case Notepad, and if it became unresponsive, we could highlight it and then end the task and Notepad closes. That's a brief overview of Windows Task Manager. It's a very useful program for getting control of your computer when it's unresponsive. And it's a very useful program to show you what's going on with your computer. You can play with all of these. You can go into the processes and stop a process. And if it's something the computer really needs to run and the computer crashes, well, you just simply start your computer over, uh, turning it off and turning it back on again. And all of these processes will, will start again because they're in a list of what the computer needs. The same thing with the services. However, I would advise you not to play with the services panel because you can get yourself into real trouble by fiddling with programs in here that you don't know what they are. Especially because, you, as you can see, the entries for the programs are very cryptic. And it's not easy to divine what the program is doing from its name. So please don't mess with the uh, the services in the services panel, uh, you could get yourself into trouble, but it's highly unlikely. You can just stop something that the computer needs to run right, right away, and uh, the computer will crash. But if you restart it, the computer will come back to as it was before. Uh, play with Task Manager. Have a look at it. You can't hurt your computer. If you get into trouble, just turn it off and turn it back on again, and everything will be as it was before. That's a short overview of Task Manager.